South Korea's west coast of Semangam has been bustling all this week with thousands of people from all around the world gathering to participate in the 25th World Scout Jamboree. Now, for more on this world's largest camping festival, we're joined by our Choi Soo Hyung. Welcome back, Soo Hyung. Good to be here again, Dami. And also, welcome back from Semangam. Thank you. So, like I mentioned, this is the 25th edition already, but this is not the first time the South Korea is hosting the event, right? Yes, Dami, this event is back in Korea after 32 years. The country hosted the 1991 edition in Gosanggun County, Gangwon-do Province. It's the biggest camping festival for young people. This year began on Tuesday, August 1st at Semangum in Buangun County in South Korea's Jeollabuk-do Province and will run until August 12th. Almost 43,000 scouts from 158 countries have gathered, sharing two friendships that will bridge racial, religious and cultural divides. Most of the scouts are looking to experience something new and network with new friends. Let's take a listen to what the scouts expected the most. Well, I mostly expect to uh, meet new people, meet uh, internationally new people, uh, get a new network. Get a lot of new friends from all around the world and experience lots of new stuff here. So other than mingling with one another and celebrating their friendship, what are they exactly doing at the campground? Yes, I mean, first, Scout was created to promote physical and mental health among young people. Through various activities, teenagers can learn how to overcome difficulties and develop social skills through adventure. Even though the extreme weather conditions have interrupted things a bit this year, the scouts have cherished their camping experience and found joy in survival challenges, teamwork and ledger sports. This summer's intense monsoon here in Korea flooded in Samangam reclamation site just before the opening. But the scouts managed to create their accommodation by laying down plastic pallets and pitching their tents on top. The scouts' passion for the jamboree remains undiminished. I asked one from Ecuador why he became scout. I become a scout because uh, my family and my sister um, told tell me that uh, scouts is a very beautiful place to be. It's a very sensational experience. And you know, the opening ceremony took the center stage on day two of the 12-day event, right? How was that? Well, Dami, let me tell you, it was splendid. The opening ceremony took place at 8 p.m. Korea time on Wednesday, the second day of the Jamboree. Dream Orchestra, composed of Korean scout members, started with a live performance. After that, the scouts formed the Guard of Honor and the flag bearers from attending countries made their entrance. Some celebrities also greeted scouts, survivor expert, Bear Grylls, K-pop artists, and even South Korea's President Yoon suk attended. In his speech, he wished the friendships that have been nurtured here in Semangam to remain together forever. So, Hyung, you mentioned 43,000 people from 160 nearly countries have gathered, right? Right. Let's talk more about the participants themselves. Yes, Dami, I met a team of three French cyclists last cycle this year. They planned an eight-month journey to cover the long journey passing through Europe, the Caucasus Mountains, Central Asia, and the Silk Road. It was a 14,000-kilometer journey from Paris. They arrived at Hemangum to deliver messages about dreams. This is the team leader Florian's message to the scouts worldwide. So uh, the theme of the Jamboree is here is draw your dream and uh, our dream was to make this big challenge to go from a part of the world to the other part. We crossed half of the world I think to come here and uh, it was uh, such an adventure, such an exploration and uh, we want to say to the scouts in the Jamboree, be explorers and uh, have big dream. One of the member, 22-year-old Antonin, said he started in the scouts when he was eight years old and living as a scout member feels very natural to him. Moreover, the team said that they chose to ride all the way there to raise awareness about the climate crisis issues. Wow, their passion and enthusiasm are real. Indeed. Now, unfortunately, the extreme heat wave nationwide was inevitable Doc, down in Semangam, right? Now, so hot that the fun was cut off short at the festival. Well, Dami, even before the venue was opened in Samangam, there were some concerns about the heat-related matters. 
Despite the positive vibes, over 700 people at the venue were treated for heat-related illness, bug bites and sunburn until Thursday morning. Semangam Jamboree Camping Ground is a reclamation site 8.84 square kilometers in total, which is 2.5 times the size of the Central Park in New York. As there's not enough shade, the organizers' measures aim to help the attendees escape the heat. Artificial shade shelters, approximately 1,700 of them, along with vine covered pedestrian paths and fogging facilities have been installed. Additionally, there are six heat wave shelters in nearby indoor sports areas and parks, accommodating over 50,000 people during the extreme heat when jamboree activities are unsafe. The South Korean government on Friday decided to increase the electrical supply capacity and supply ice-cold water. It will also install cooling tanks and run more buses. Hopefully, these will help the participants to cool off a bit. Yes, I hope the young scouts will finish their adventure in Samangam safely. All right, Su Hyung, thank you for sharing your Jabri wrap-up today. My pleasure.